Okay, so I wanted to make a video kind of taboo and might be a little controversial or uncomfortable or weird, but I know whenever I first had to get this done, nobody talked about it and there's not very many YouTube videos on it. And it's basically talking about getting a pelvic exam. I did not get a pap smear because I'm not 21. I'll be 20 in December on the 6th. But I did get, I believe it's called a pelvic exam. I can kind of tell you everything that I had to do and what it was like and what it felt like, I guess. How uncomfortable or comfortable it was and why I had to get it. So I'll just start. I'm on the Depo Provera shot. I go to a health department that gives free healthy exams, breast exams, and um, free birth control. If you don't have enough um, income every month so I go to them and now it'll be my second year I got my second exam this last time I went I went to the office and had to fill out burning paperwork just asked me questions about like my sex life and symptoms or anything that I had and so I go back and there's like this little room and there's a doctor and then a nurse they tell me to go to the bathroom and there is like a shirt like a paper shirt that you um, go over and it's, it looks kind of like a crop top but it like it opens from the front I had basically just like a really big big paper disposable thing to wrap around my stomach and around my butt and you have to go out and I sat on this table it's very awkward first she touched my boobs and she like opened up one side feeling around my boobs and talking to me like it was nothing and she wasn't wearing gloves and I think that's very weird but it's probably so she can feel better with her hand and like if there's any ripples or anything without gloves but um she felt my boobs everything was good that part wasn't too bad I mean it was just awkward and it felt weird and I didn't like it <laughs> and then the actual exam happened there's like a clamp thing I don't know if maybe I'll find a picture and put it over here and she put that in my vagina and took like a little two big q-tips and a like a I don't know maybe I'll just put pictures of like all the things that she used and um just basically like moved it around on my cervix to get discharged, which every girl has, to check to make sure I am STD free, which I know for a fact I am, but the results also came back is all negative. That was basically it. Um, it didn't really, it doesn't hurt, it just, it feels, um, it kind of, it doesn't burn, it just feels kind of like, like in the pit of your stomach in the very bottom, like kind of like a cramp, but like a burning cramp. It's a very awkward feeling and it's also extremely awkward to be standing, like laying there butt naked. Even if you have like these little paper towel things over you, you're very exposed, but it is important to get a pelvic exam every single year so you can um, get tested for STDs. And if something looks bad, then they can find like precancer cells or whatever. Like if they feel like there's something wrong, then they can then test you for pap smear. But normally women under the age of 21, I think there's like a, a very, very small amount of women actually get, um, cervical cancer under that age so you don't really need to worry about it. They don't recommend you doing a pap smear until you're 21 so I will not be getting that till I'm 21 but when I do 20, turn 21 I have to do it every three years but the public exam you have to do every year but uh, I just want to make this video. I don't know why. <laughs> It was awkward and felt uncomfortable and I hated it because I don't ever see the doctor but the nurse I go to every single three months to get my shot and it's very awkward because she basically was like looking at my vagina and now I have to go back in three months and look her in the face and get my shot. If you have any questions, ladies? or if you're young and you're scared, I suggest that you ask questions because it's something we need to talk about. Even if it's considered taboo or awkward or weird or gross, um, it's just part of our health as ladies and it needs to be done. And um, they do recommend you get pelvic exams when you start birth control, whenever you have sex. And I don't care how old you are, I'm not going to huge spew on birth control, but um, I do believe that it's very important to protect yourself to not put yourself in any position that you would not want to be in, like getting pregnant or, uh, you know, getting STD. So always wear condoms and make sure you are protecting yourself. Um, um, the best way not to get pregnant is, you know, abstinence, but that's not feasible in this day and age. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of give this informal video. I don't know. It's kind of awkward for me to even talk about, but I feel like it's important because people my age don't really have anybody talking about this kind of stuff and um pelvic exams are awkward getting your boobs felt for for breast cancer is awkward but it needs to be done and you also should be doing your own exams every single month on your boobs and there are several different pamphlets and things online that you can find on 
I think that the breast cancer site um, has a pamphlet on their website to show you how to check for breast cancer, for lumps, or any um, weird feeling things, then you should definitely be checking that out because it's a very important thing and um, catching something early is a very important thing. But yeah, that is my spiel on birth control and pelvic exams and protecting yourself. So, um, if you have any questions, again, let me know. Um, if you don't want to put it in the comments, you can, um, DM me on Twitter. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can just click on my Twitter, uh, account and it'll bring you there and you can DM me and I can answer questions if you have any, um, I just want to be informal kind of about that. Uh, so, any questions let me know if you feel comfortable enough you can just leave it in the comment below so I guess I'm gonna go thank you for watching and I guess I will see you when I see you bye